So now we're going to clean up some of the code from our last screencast and start working on the create action of our session controller. Okay, so now let's go back into the code. And we're going to strip all of that code out, both from the session controller and the user controller. And now we're going to create our second action, which of course is going to be create. Okay, do not let this amount of code kind of overwhelm you. We're going to go over this step by step. So just like with the sign up form, you have the new action that actually produces or renders the form that you want the user to fill out and then create is actually creating a new session from the parameters in the sign-in form instead of creating a new user like we did with the user controller. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check whether the user has put some value in the email field and the password field. If they've not placed a value in either of these fields, then we're going to generate an error message. So we're going to create that error message as an object within an array and just like we did with some of the automatic validation in our user controller, we're going to pass this error to the flash variable within our session and pass that down ultimately to the new.ejs file, which of course is our sign-in page, where it'll be placed as a flash message. So let's take a look at that. So I'm going to try to sign in with no values in either of these fields. And here's our error message that we just created. You must enter both a username and password. And again, here's our message. Okay, now we're going to look for a user by the email address that they provided in the sign in form. And we're using a convenience method called dynamic finders instead of just the find one method that we've used in the past. These dynamic finders allow us to use an attribute of the model, in this instance, email, and then return one user if that user is found in the model. So we're either going to get an error or that user. If no user is returned, we're going to create this error message, pass it to our flash mechanism, and then redirect back to the sign-in page, also called new.ejs in the session views. Let's take a look at that. So I'm going to enter in an email address that I know is not in the database. And there's our message that the email none at there.com was not found. Let's go back into the code. So now we're going to take the user record that we received from find one by email, and we're going to use it in the compare method of our bcrypt module. One quick note, here's another way of requiring the bcrypt module. For this screencast, I put it before module exports. So we're going to take the password that we received from the user in the sign-in form and the encrypted password that we got from the user model, pass those both into the compare method, and either we're going to receive an error or we're going to receive this valid Boolean, which is either going to be true or false. So if it's the wrong password or if there's no match, we created this error message and we're going to pass it down to our flash mechanism. And if it is true, we're going to go ahead and create a value called authenticated in our session object and assign that to true. And we're going to create a user in our session and assign the user object to user. Then we're going to go ahead and redirect to the user's profile page by passing in their user ID and appending it onto user slash show. Okay, let's take a look and see how that works. So I'm going to restart the server. And refresh here. And great, we're now authenticated. And creating the action for signing the user out is really easy. Let's go into the code. 
So now we need to destroy the session and we can do that through the destroy action. So all we have to do is destroy the session and redirect the browser to the sign-in page. Let's see what that looks like. So I'm going to sign in. And to sign out, we'll just put in session slash destroy. And now we're signed out. But what does that really do? Because right now we're signed out and I can go to any part of our program including making changes here. Let's say we wanted to prevent users that weren't authenticated, that weren't signed in from doing anything other than signing up. And that's gonna be really easy to do through a concept that we've already covered called policies. So let's go back into the code. And under policies, we'll look at authenticated.js. Now by default, authenticated.js is generated when you create a sales project. And we can go ahead and use this authenticated value within the session object to control whether this policy returns okay or an error. So if authenticated is equal to true, the policy is gonna return okay. If it's not true, we created an error here that you must be signed in, pass that to our flash mechanism, and we redirect to session slash new. And then to institute this policy, we're gonna to go to config policies. And as you may recall, we have a policy called flash and we want that flash policy to be used on every controller and action. But with the authenticated.js, we want that to apply specifically to the user controller. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So now within the user controller, we want the new action to continue to use the flash policy and then any other action within the user controller we want to require the authenticated policy so you've got to be authenticated in order to get to any of those actions other than new in the user controller okay let's see what this looks like so i'm going to restart the server and now if i go to the user list it's going to say that i have to be logged in and if I do log in, no problem. I'm going to be able to get to my user profile, to the user, to the user list, to make changes. All because I'm authenticated and I have the right policies in place. So policies are a very powerful way of us managing our web application. But right now, it's not very easy to get around as far as just navigation. And in the next screencast, we're going to take care of that. Thanks for watching.